This is Airzen On Air, a video podcast featuring expert information from the blower and compressor professionals at Airzen USA. Welcome to Airzen On Air. Hello, this is Ralph Weiser with Airzen USA Corporation. I'm the technical director here, and this is yet another episode of Airzen On Air. Today I'm going to talk about uh, bed drives, conventional bed drives like you see on this side. They're uh, either spoked like this or solid, usually made out of regular gray cast iron well, for higher tip speeds, also in nodular cast iron. Conventionally, these tend to be pretty heavy and we have a solution for it. Now, where, where might some problems lie? For one, conventional drives are pretty heavy, so who cares? Where there's one nasty effect of additional mass because the moment of inertia. The higher it is, the longer it takes for a bed drive to come up to speed. For instance, if you have a heavy mass on the driven piece of equipment, it not only will it take longer to get up to speed, but also it will most likely cause for beds to slip on the uh, driver's side. That might be one issue. Also, if you have the so-called flywheel effect, if indeed one of the pieces of equipment, let it be the motor, the driver, or the blower in this case, if there's a problem, the flywheel effect will want to move the equipment even further, and thereby maybe causing more uh, disruption. Also, what's very limiting is the speed of gray cast iron. And uh, that is where we have been using these special pulleys, and I'll just show you the profile of one of these. Here's one of our specially vented VTP pulleys that we're using on our blower and compressor drives. And you can probably see how many more grooves we have on this one. This is an egg groove versus a three groove design uh, uh, bed drive. And believe it or not, both of them have the same mass. This one is good for about 75 horsepower drives, whereas this one will handle uh, in excess of 200 horsepower. So the, the, the mass by itself, we solved that problem by producing it, very lightweight design. It is also made out of uh, nodular cast iron, so it will it sustain the high tip speeds as well as larger diameters. Which is the other point, these speeds can exceed 300 feet per second of bed tip speeds, which is extremely fast. For those very fast drives, here we have grooves in the grooves, there are vented holes in there that will allow air to move in and out of the groove. At those tip speeds, typically, there are two effects that are detrimental to a bed drive. One, there's so much air going through these grooves that there's some bed lift if you do not vent the, the, the groove. Number two is, for the conventional drives, for regular speeds, you obviously do not need the high speed capability but you want a high bed service life, a satisfactory service life. And that is exactly the, uh, the added benefit of these vented grooves because air circulates in there, the beds run cooler. Theref thereby making sure that you get a satisfactory bed life. So, this is, this is the conventional technology, this is the regular technology, very heavy, a lot lighter, more, uh, less mass, higher tip speeds, and you uh, actually help save power. All right, thank you for your attention. This was another episode of Airs and On Air. See you next time. Airs and On Air is a video podcast production of Airs and USA. Airs and one step ahead.